draw two triangles with equal perimeters and are congruent. So two triangles with equal perimeter and are congruent. So if I said this is 4, 5, 6, then this also has to be 4, 5, 6, right? Because they're going to be congruent. And then the angle would be congruent. Corresponding angles would be congruent. So in this case, they're going to have the same perimeter because perimeter, remember, we add up all the sides. So 4 plus 5 plus 6 is going to be the same as 4 plus 5 plus 6, right? So um, this would be an example of two triangles with equal perimeters and are congruent because I showed that all three sides are congruent, the corresponding sides are congruent, and the corresponding angles are congruent, okay? Draw two triangles that have equal areas but are not congruent. Equal areas but are not congruent. Okay, not congruent. So let's say I have a um, triangle here, and say this is 8 and this is 5. Then the area here is going to be 20, right? Because, not 20. So 20 units squared because 8 times 5 is 40 divided by 2 is 20. Um, so that's one triangle. And then another triangle, let's say same area, that means since these add up to 40, th this also has, had a, um, has to add up to 40, the base and the height. Let's say this is 10 and this is 4. Okay? And that means the area, 40 divided by 2 is 20 units squared. So again, um, they have the same area, but they're not congruent because see how this side and this side are different? And then I can just say that this is like, let's say, 7 and 9. This will be like um, 6 and 5. I don't know. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. Uh, thank you for watching educator.com.